go big or go home, man. We only got one life to live. Are you going to look back 20 years from now regretting that you never started that YouTube mm. channel when you had a message stuck inside you that you were designed to share? It, it's I true. hope not. Yeah. I hope not. Especially for fear of what other people think. Other people that you don't even know or that don't even matter. Welcome back to the RV Odd Couple. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. We RV pursuing freedom, independence, and adventure. Because life is so short, you guys. It is. We absolutely love our lives. So how did we become a successful channel on YouTube? It certainly wasn't our editing, our camera work, or our equipment. <laughs> it wasn't my looks. <laughs> we let our freak flag fly. Amen. In this video, we count our blessings. And we share five reasons why our YouTube channel is successful. We're also going to share something very special that happened with our daughter Sage last night that brought Mercedes and I to tears. And stay tuned because the final reason we've had success on YouTube, it's not what you it's think. It's not what you think. So number one, we credit prayer. Yeah, and it's not that we're praying like, dear God, please make my video go viral. <laughs> right, bring us money, bring us subscribers, <laughs> bring us, us all these things. That was not what we pray for. <laughs> what we pray for before every single video we do is that God use us as a channel to try to help as many people as we possibly can. And we go into every video sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly about RV life. And we're not afraid to embarrass ourselves in the hopes that it may help somebody not make the same mistake. Yeah, because we know that our job is to serve. We truly believe in our hearts that if we serve others, then we will be successful. They call it engagement. Basically, it's when you engage with people. That feedback has been crucial to why our channel has grown exponentially. But not because some algorithm says that, oh, comments are good, but really because we're connecting with our people and they tell us honest feedback. And here's the paradox with that, is that the gift wasn't money, the gift wasn't fame, RV Park fame. The gift was is that God gave us the RV Odd Squad. <laughs> yeah, and this is definitely the best part because we're not alone. Any challenge that we face, we know that we can throw it up to the RV Odd Squad and you guys will give us honest feedback. Yeah, the RV Odd Squad taught us more than anything in our first year of full-time RVing. We literally have a family all over the country that helps us and that we lean on. Ultimately, the biggest gift that we've gotten so far is we have a sense of purpose and direction in our lives. Yeah. And it's beyond anything we could have ever imagined. Yeah, because the reality is if you, there's no way to do YouTube successfully if you don't believe in God because you're going to be praying a lot. <laughs> you're going to be praying a lot. God, please let this video upload. <laughs> God, please let me have internet. <laughs> Number two is that you have to have a plan. Gotta have one. And this takes on multiple forms. So you need to have a plan as to what your channel is about. You can't go willy-nilly. There has to be some bigger picture or some central focus. You also have to know who it is you're serving. We mm -hmm. chose the full-time RV life. We were making mistakes. We're like, how come we never knew about this? And that's when we realized like, we need to help others so they don't experience what we're experiencing. So you might kind of fall into it, but you do need to be you do need to be specific. And and the other thing that you need to have a plan about is a plan for the learning curve because right. this is going to take a while to learn. We've been doing this for over a year and it still gets scary. We have this expectation that we'll be perfect at it the first time. It takes time and part of the plan is allowing yourself that time to learn what it is you have to learn. Number three is a big one. Uh, it hurts. It, 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 but it's the truth. You need to surround yourself with people who love you enough to tell you the truth. Early on we got involved with a Facebook group where there was a lot of other RV YouTubers who would share their videos in this private group and you would get feedback on your videos and no one would tell the truth. Yeah, all the videos were great, but the channels were really struggling. If you really care about someone, you'll say like, no, this is a bad idea or stop here or, or you know what, this part over here was boring and it's not coming from a place of of judgment it's coming from a place of honest feedback because you you want to help them you want to help people grow and you're never gonna be able to do that if you don't tell the truth the truth hurts but it will certainly set you free and thank God we had coaches early on that told us nobody cares about you stop talking about yourself what can you offer your viewer yeah and when you get a comment of feedback that hurts right sometimes if it stings 
it's because it's true. It and is. And you have to have the maturity to look at that and be like, no, this thing's because it's true. And we've had plenty of times where we'd have to, where we have had to apologize, and that's okay. Some of the commenters told me that I was completely wrong and off base, and I wasn't showing integrity. It's so important that you surround yourself with people that are going to tell you the truth and listen to your audience, especially pay close attention to the comments you don't like. The fourth thing that we've done that has contributed to our success on our channel is work. There's a big difference between being interested in having a YouTube channel and being committed to having a YouTube channel. The amount of work that Mercedes and I have put into this channel this year is more work than we've ever done in our lives, but the rewards, the benefits, the blessings yeah. far outweigh anything else. It is so worth it. The perks of everything that we've gotten from our channel, especially from the community that we built with the RV Odd Squad. I mean, we consider ourselves so blessed. We have this sense of purpose and direction that we've never had before. The fifth reason our channel has been so successful is probably the most fun of them all. <laughs> you see, you gotta let your freak flag fly. And that's about being authentic. It's okay to make mistakes and just be who you are. And people will appreciate your raw authenticity far more than they will somebody who's just trying to please everyone and not really standing for anything. I mean, if you're going to make a mistake with your YouTube channel, make a big mistake. Make a big mistake. And then follow it with an equally big apology yeah, once make you it see sloppy. the error in your you know, way. Because people, to, especially today, we live in a world where there's so much misinformation. And, and if you're just yourself, people love that. Yeah. They're attracted to it like a magnet. They love the truth. Because we live in a society where so many images and so much messaging is crafted and perfect. And there's something really refreshing about someone that even, the truth. <laughs> even if they totally mess up, they did so like courageously. They went down in flames, yeah. man. You know, good job, good for good trying. People can absolutely smell it when you're full of it. They can smell it. Yeah. You know, and and you just lose credibility. And it takes courage. It's a big risk. It's really scary. What if you put yourself out there and people don't like it? Well, guess what? You Who can't, cares? You can't win everybody, but the people <laughs> that you will attract, the people that will become part of your group are going to be your people. And that is worth so much. So take the risk. I mean, yeah, is it scary? Of course it's scary. But go big or go home, man. <laughs> we only got one life to live. Are you going to look back 20 years from now regretting that you never started that YouTube mm -hmm. channel when you had a message stuck inside you that you were designed <laughs> to share? It, it's I true. hope not. Yeah. I hope not. Especially for fear of what other people think other people that you don't even know or that don't even matter that's none of your business what other people think number one number two it's about being vulnerable right yes. not being afraid to be yourself and put yourself out there is it scary oh yeah it scares the heck out of us every Still. time we did it but we continue to push the limits yes when we go to editing and we're like should we put this out there and we're like let's just go for it let's we prayed roll about it we tried, it's gonna be some good <laughs> stuff that's gonna help some people let's roll the dice and see what ends up here but just be real be real and in the audience is going to so appreciate that mm -hmm. and you're going to attract the people that you need into your life and we've received so much help yeah. from the RV Odd Squad in love, support, prayers, honest feedback, honest even if we feedback. didn't like it, even it if we honest. didn't like it, we know them enough to know that they've been a while, around for a while and even though we didn't like their comment, we knew they were telling the truth once we kind of let it sink in, yeah. prayed about it, woke up the next morning and said, oh man, Fat Man 25 is dead <laughs> on right, man. He's dead on right. In the piss video, we stuck a stake in the ground and we said, if the other YouTubers don't want to play with us, we're going to create our own little sandbox <laughs> and we're going to we're going to invite other new YouTubers in and we're going to show them how to grow their channel and that's exactly what we've done we've brought in a whole big group of people and what they're watching them succeed and we're teaching them what we learned but we paid a ton of money money to learn these students that we've kind of taught our blueprint to are our friends they're also our family members now Mercedes and I have been able to stand by and watch them grow and, and watch them have success. And watch them work with brands for the first time yeah. and help them navigate these things that we walked through and we didn't have anyone ahead to tell us what to do in certain things. And you wouldn't expect that helping someone else succeed would bring you joy, but I think it actually brings you more joy. And the reality is that we sometimes rely on them, I think, more than they rely on us. And so it's kind of funny that inverse relationship that 
know, you think you're given, but you're getting so much more. And, and that community that we've created, we're not alone anymore. We're not. We told you in the beginning of the video that we had something really um, personal to share with you about an experience we had with Sage. If you are members of the RV Odd Squad, we don't need to tell you the backstory of Sage. You already know. And last night, Mercedes and I were sitting up at our desk doing work, and Sage was down at the kitchen table playing with Legos. And, and Mercedes nudges me, and she goes, look, look, look. And Sage is at the kitchen table, and she doesn't talk very much, and she usually only says two or three words. But she was literally sitting there reciting the Lord's Prayer at the kitchen table by herself. Mercedes and I just looked at her, stared, listened, and we started to weep. Just complete tears of joy. And it's something that Mercedes and I have been doing with Sage since she was a baby. You know, the Lord's Prayer before we go to bed every night. And now Sage makes us do it in the morning before breakfast. So we do the yeah. Lord's Prayer at night and we do the every Lord's meal, Prayer basically. in the morning. And yeah, sometimes she gets us at lunch. But we wanted to share that with you guys because you've come along on this journey with us. We consider you part of our family. But it was one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen and I'll remember it for the rest of my life. And that's why we do you. YouTube so that we can be with our kid 24 7 and catch all of those moments and if you're committed to starting the YouTube channel we have a webinar that you can sign up for we'll link below we're gonna talk more about the mechanics of a YouTube channel and really how to set it up and how to have a solid plan and so that you can have a successful channel if you're interested check it out below and if not don't worry next week we'll be back with more RVing goodies <laughs> we'll see you in the next video